WNST, Towson, of Baltimore. At Baltimore Positive, always remind you to set a dial if you're out on your uh, radio, your Coons Ford uh, radio. But Dennis has been fighting to keep AM radios in cars. Make sure you set us on the dial uh, and uh, keep following along. I tell you what, we're doing the Maryland Crab Cake Tour. Haven't had a crab cake in a couple weeks. It was at Faithley's a couple weeks ago with my friends from Wise Markets. But I'm back on the west side this week. We're going to be at Spirits West, a new crab cake. I'm excited about that. Going to be giving these away. Maryland Lottery scratch-offs. It is a throwback to the first ever scratch-off. 50 years they've been doing it, giving a lot of money away. And our friends at Window Nation, 866-90-NATION. Uh, you buy two, you get two free. Uh, and there's two years, 0% financing. And uh, I'm digging my windows here. I got a window to all the stars. This guy's got windows. In. Your windows overlook Spirits West over there in beautiful Montgomery Park. It's been a little while. John Martin has been in and out this spring, but is back with us here just in time for my wife to drag me down to the Royal Farms and start buying tickets because we got jackpot fever out that window, John Martin. There's lots of things going on here, Nestor. First off, uh, job about new windows. You can see right here, I have new blinds in my uh, luxurious uh, headquarters office here. Uh, keep the I'm sun so out on the, on the west side. There's a sun setting in the afternoon. Well, yeah, yeah, absolutely. They, that's brutal in the afternoon, but but I'm still playing games with my with my blinds, my new stuff. This is also over here. This is a new table. Right hey, here. listen, this looks to me, and I've 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 been around. I've been lucky. I've been for. I've been around a lot of executive directors of things in my lifetime. Yes. yes. Almost every executive director of anything that I've met usually has it a thing that looks just like that, like an office. I know that it's not, my wife doesn't have an office anymore. A lot of people work from home and all this, you know, hybrid work, but you still have like, you run the joint and you have like an office and it looks like a fully functional office, John. Well, okay. You caught me. I'm going to come clean. This is my home. <laughs> you're, you're, you're like Joe Gibbs. You have a cot <laughs> right. off to the side. Right. That sleeping. right. Yeah. Bathroom here, all right. kitchen down the hall. Yeah. It's, this is all, this is it. I, 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 you know, I, I would room rate you, except I know it's a real room. <laughs> but if right. honestly, if you just wanted to look like the executive director of the lottery without, you could just take that picture and you would look like you're in your office, even if you're not in your office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. absolutely. Hey, you know what today is or this time of year is, depending on what people This is the beginning of summer, Nestor. And that means that you guys go out and give things away. I bet. Well, we, we, we try to give things away every day of the year, but summer, it's a lot more fun during the summer months. Uh, events every week between now and who knows when, certainly uh, through through the Labor Day weekend, we'll be out and about in, in, the, in the marketplace each and every weekend. Go to mdlottery.com and find out if we're going to be in a venue near you. Uh, because you yeah, need any kind of venues that have gold watermelon? That's really important to me this time of year. And peach cake. You bring peach I, I cake. I, I don't even need to win the lottery. If I every time I eat peach cake, I feel like I've won the lottery. All right. So now we're going to go on a tangent because you're you're taking advantage <laughs> of, of the non-local here. What are gold watermelon and peach cakes? Oh, John. All right. So here's what I'm going to do. All right. I, I, you you've just opened the door because you're you're bringing nasty Nestor out from the '90s. You're doing like wacky radio with me. So here's what we're going to do. I'm doing the 25th anniversary. I know it's hard to believe that this is people have supported this thing for 25 years, but they have all our bills are paid. We're still here <laughs> 25 years later on August the 3rd. We're going to be over at Costas, not Pappas, even though we're in the Pappas shirt. They're all friends. They all sell crabs. They're all Greek. They're all beautiful people. Um, but I'm going to be in Costas and Dundalk on August the 3rd and the 4th at Drug City. So we're going to be there broadcasting, celebrating 25 years. What I'm going to do, because it's, the middle of peach cake season as I'm going to turn it into some sort of peach cake celebration. Cause it's my favorite thing. And it's in the mid smack dab in the middle of peach cake season. It's going to be the freshest, most tastiest gold watermelon and peach cake. So, and I'm, I'm going to get silver queen corn. Cause that's one of my other favorite things, heirloom tomatoes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it into a celebration of my favorite summer foods at Costas on the third. And if you come peach cake for you, I'm going to make it happen. Wow. Wow. I and I'm going to get it from all three of my favorite places so you can try it from all. So I got an email about two weeks ago, a uh, dear friend of mine. Uh, um, he, he wrote to me. He's like, you're the peach cake guy. Come clean. Tell me the really good peach cake places. And I'm like, it's like crab cakes. I have three great peach cake places. You may prefer Fenwick. You may prefer Simon's. You may prefer Woodley. They're all delicious. I have my own personal favorite in some sort of way, but I love them all equally. So I would just say I'm going to bring peach cake to you, and I've just given you 
like really insider Baltimore information. I just dropped three names on you. Simons, Cockeysville, right next to Pappas, same plaza. You can get crab cakes and peach cake in the same place. All right. Woodley, it's down on Bel Air Road. And then Fenwick Bakery on Harford Road. These are, you cannot go wrong, John. You'll feel like you've won $400 million in Powerball if, 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 you, if you eat this. Nice segue because I'm going to drop two names on you, Powerball and Mega Millions. And, and you are correct. Powerball this week, $400 million. Mega Millions, $320 million. And we have a lot of fun when we get into dueling jackpots here. Um, because again, jackpot draws five nights of the week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday for Powerball Tuesday and, uh, Friday for, uh, for mega millions and, uh, check out mdlottery.com and see those jackpots grow as the summer grows. And we're going to have a little rain to help Te- grow teach me about this out. though. I like yep. for, for my wife, cause right now I'm looking and by the time, you know, it's Wednesday we're, we're taping, um, the Orioles will be playing the Mariners this weekend. Luke will be at the ballpark. It'll be a bigger number, but right now it's 400 million, um, on Powerball 320 on mega millions and they'll grow on, unless they're both hit this week. And that could happen too. Oh, don't but, say that. Don't say that. No, 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 no. So I, what I do want to say is they're going to grow quickly now, right? Like once it gets here, it goes from four to five and from five to six and six to eight quicker. Like, so if nobody hits it in the next week or two or three, it's really going to get crazy. How does that happen? It, does it happen literally? I'm just, I'm being the village mm-hmm. idiot here. Sure. Does it, does it happen just because my wife gets activated and more people are activated that just, it's literally just more, more cash in the pot. Well, absolutely. I mean, you educated me on peach cake and gold watermelon. So let, let me return the favor here. And and that's exactly what happens. And, and you know, several years ago, 300 and 400 million dollars that people would be you know, stopping cars in the streets and and running to get their tickets. And and, you know, it'd be a media event. And and it's you know every time we get a billion dollar jackpot, it, it, it takes a little takes a little uh, edge off. And so, you know, the, the, the jackpots take longer to get to significant numbers. They grow a little bit uh, slower to get there. Uh, but you're right. There will be very soon. It, we may not be there yet, but we can see it from here. You know, probably around the $500 million mark for when, when people start to take notice of it. Uh, the media picks up on a little bit more. I was going to say, you'll hear about it on about the it. news. You'll yeah. pass that big billboard by Jones exactly. Junction on Bel Air near the new Pappas. Right. Yep. Exactly. And all of a sudden, those numbers look look big to you, and they are. And then you think, you know what? I'm going to do that. And and the infusion of of uh, people who are new newbies into the marketplace, the the jackpot grows faster with with more people buying tickets. That's that's third grade math. That's not a that's not a. Well, my a wife's going to have twenty in each one at the Rofo by the end of the day. I promise you, because she knows. She told me she knows you come on on Wednesday, and she you know she's like she said, hey. Jackpots are up. Make sure you talk to John about that. I'm like, thanks. You see, I, I have an executive producer. You just don't realize it. <laughs> well, as long as people are playing responsibly, playing within their means, having some fun with it, office pools. If you're still going into an office, it still could be virtual office. Uh, we, we get a little more excitement when more people get together and they all throw in a buck or two and, and someone's designated as the ticket purchaser. And then they go and, and they buy a bulk number of tickets so that many people can share uh, hopefully in, in some winning uh, experiences. And we caution people there, if you are going to participate in an office pool, please make sure um, it's not on credit that you, you're paying with the money that you have. And if you're in, get a copy of the ticket that has been purchased so that you know exactly what numbers you're rooting for come uh, come selection night. Well, y- my wife did that historically she's from new hampshire and her office pools she it was a fun fun part of her her office to do that and um i, I know when that happens and there's a winner that makes it more fun for you because i mean at the end of the day you guys give money away part of this are the people and the stories and one of the reasons you'd like to do this are to tell the stories of retired longshoremen that pick up 50 grand on a pick five right i mean that that, that that's what makes this fun is the people and when a bunch of people get in you know that's um that that that's part of the plane for the fun. You know, we haven't had one of those in a long time, but people can go to mdlottery.com and check out the winner's stories. But yeah, it is great when, you know, when five, 10 people come in and, and all at the same time, and they all have a portion of that winning number. That's a nice team photo to get, get a number of smiling faces behind a big oversized check to, uh, to talk about uh, their experiences. Uh, but more often than not, the, the winners come in onesies and twosies and, and they get paid just the same. And, you know, I love the story of the, the Baltimore bus driver uh, 
um, who becomes a millionaire after getting a lucky scratch off win. Sounds like the honeymooners. Hold on. Hey, <laughs> to the moon, hey. Alice. To the moon, Alice. <laughs> uh, yeah. Hey, one a million bucks. Maybe it's to Ocean City, Alice. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nothing, nothing. Uh, we, we just went off the rails. One of us. Well, it was a million test. dollar bus driver. All yeah. I see is Ralph Cramden. That's all I see. Yeah, yeah. Twenty dollar hot seven 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 scratch off, and those hot tickets are hot this summer. So please check those out. Um, but yeah, that's 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 kind of exciting, right? Uh, you're driving your route. Uh, I looked here. Hold on. Seth sends me an email every week, and I don't always get names, but I get the names of. So I, I, my partners at Royal Farms sold a one yep. million dollar Hot Seven Seven ticket on a Joppa Road in Parkville. That is the row. Fo- that's the one I drive by every day going to yoga. It's the one over where the barn was. I passed it a million yep. times. Somebody went in there and bought a ticket. In the last two weeks, and won a million dollars. That's not awesome. somebody. Not somebody. It's Ralph Crampton. That, that's the same story. Same story. All right. See, I'd look, yeah. I look. I also see here when another one of my sponsors hits Wise Market, Nottingham. I know the GM there. Hot seven seven fifty thousand dollars scratch off. So I'm going to have to tell my wife when she's buying tickets, we're going to go to these lucky places now. She's going to go to Lucky Royal Farms, Lucky Wise, and she's going to she's going to buy her. Four hundred million dollar winning ticket be five hundred by the time we win. Well, and, and you know that's another good story too at Wise Markets where the uh, the the young lady thought she had a five hundred dollar winning ticket, and when she went in to claim that at Wise Markets because she could certainly do that, um, the machine popped up and said, "Go to a lottery." Now um, it might as well say, "Go see John Martin." I you know what I think <laughs> can, can we work on that. Can, can well, we I mean, we, I'd give him Roz's number, Doug, you yeah, know, I mean, yeah. that's somebody, no, right? I, I, I'd love to have someone come in and, and she, when she, upon further review, uh, actually looked at the ticket or, or we had someone look at the ticket here. That's a $50,000 price. She was, she was off by a couple of decimal points. Oh, hold on a she second. Thought it was I, 500. I really want to play this out. All right. Yeah. I'm at Wise Markets and I'm, I'm over in uh, 4126 East Joppa Road and I got a ticket. And I'm like, oh, look, I won 500 bucks. Wow, what, what 500 bucks? You go up and they're like, no, no, it says go to. So what then do you do? Like the, the woman's well, got the ticket and she's like, I think I won. I don't know. Like, and then she goes to the wise markets and the lady's like, well, you just go to lottery. What does that person do at that moment? Well, in, in this case, because there's two stories here, this is where it kind of diverts. Um, so let me answer this one first about the, the, the actual winner. And then we'll talk about others in, in a generic sense. So some, some tickets are not as obvious as scratch a number and there it is. There's your winner. Some of them, we, we play a few games with people and we put multiple prizes. So she scratched one of her winning numbers uh, on the ticket and it was a $500 prize. Uh, but then after it said go to lottery, she said, wait a minute. And she scratched off the rest of the ticket. And lo and behold, there was another five hundred dollars. There was a thousand dollars. There was this. There was that. So she had a ticket with multiple prizes on one ticket. So the total value of the ticket was fifty thousand dollars. So um, she did actually kind of self-disclose what she had going on there. But there are other instances, um, as as we briefly alluded to there, where someone thinks they won one amount, and they come here and they found out that. When we look at the true ticket um, uh, behind the behind the scratch or behind the schmutz, as we say here, which is the technical term, behind the schmutz, uh, you you find out that there are in fact uh, either other prizes or maybe they didn't scratch off all the way and it was actually a much larger number. So they they he, send he, an email. Do they call? What? Oh, they literally. show up. They show up when it says go to lottery. They're they're knocking on my door. I mean, so wow. Um, okay. And what triggers that is is most retailers can can only cash up to six hundred dollars. Um, so if it's a price larger than that, uh, they go to one of our uh, expanded caching retailers, of which we have about 435, about 10 percent of our retailer network can cash up to five thousand uh, dollars. I had a hundred dollar winner on one of these down at Faithy's on opening day and couldn't cash there because they don't. But I literally took my car or went around the corner and the guy said, hey, I just cashed my ticket. I got my hundred bucks. And I'm like, well, you can do that with a hundred bucks, but 600 is where the cutoff is, right? 600 is where the cutoff. And then 5,000 is the next cutoff for a, for a subset of our retailer community, about 10% of our retailers. And if it's greater than 5,000, but less than 25,000, you can go to any of the six casinos in the state of Maryland and they will gladly um, 
cash, you're a winning ticket up to $25,000. Any ticket greater than $25,000, you have to see this smiling face. And take a picture. Down. Take it. Oh, I'd love to take a picture. My wall, <laughs> my wall is barren. It's you have looking... a whole room for that. You have like a party room over there when you win. That I've, I've had the rock star guitar and the boa on and the I won sign over me. John yep. Martin is here. He's executive director of all things Maryland Lottery and gaming. Uh, we talked some sports wagering. We've had, uh, we got huge jackpots going on here. I'm going to be giving away these scratch offs. And I, John, this has been a lucky batch. I've had a lot of winners here, but I, it really would be interesting if somebody won a thousand. On one of my scratch offs, let's say it's Spirits West this week or uh, two weeks from now at Hollywood Casino at the uh, Sp uh, Barstool Sportsbook or any of the things that we're doing with the Crab Cake Tour. Somebody wins a thousand. I got to literally tell them to come see you. <laughs> yeah, or they can go to one of our, they can actually go online and, and find out how winners can claim. And you can claim a thousand dollar winning ticket up again up to five thousand dollars at any of the four hundred and thirty four retailers that are specially designated. And that's why you go to the They're website. Still. You can find out if you're in Dundalk, who are the retailers in Dundalk who can cash that ticket. And then awesome. if it's greater than 5,000, uh, you can still come see me, but you can also go to any of the casinos. So well, they can, can also we try go to see people. you and then go to Spirits West right around the corner if they want to, too. If they come Oh, see that'd you. be great. That'd be great. Again, as long as you're going to do that, I'll give you another 20 bucks. Give me a, give me a something there. Every time I visit you, I, all I smell is the Royal Farms from the Royal Farms across the street. And it, <laughs> it makes me want chicken. Uh, John, for, for you and the I, I was going to have a segue and say, you know, we have mul multiple winners on one ticket. You know, when Barb won that home run riches thing, we all thought she just won 50 grand. But she, it turns out she won more than that because there were more home runs. I'm watching the Orioles every night. Obviously, they're in Tampa this week uh, playing really good baseball. It's been that kind of a year. And I know the lottery's done business with the baseball team forever and ever and ever. We talked about the Gary Renneke home run a million years ago and what a million dollars represented but it it's more special i mean this year as an agency you've got to be pleased with all of it in 50th anniversary but more than that every night they're playing games and every night they might hit three or four or five home runs they're capable of that every night that the home run 500 bucks sounds like yeah it's like be nice to win 500 bucks but to your point it can multiply as well with the orioles you know that's the fun part about this this promotion I, and I, I i wish i could take credit for it and i can't but I, I suppose I could do it right here because no one's going to challenge me. But 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 somebody somebody on our team came up with this idea several years ago to attach a contestant of the game to each Orioles contest, home or away, and just for being selected, they win five hundred dollars and they get an additional five hundred dollars for every Orioles home run hit in that game. And you're right. I mean, you look at the schedule here. Uh, Bradford Gist or Bradford Gist. I don't know if it's a hard G or soft G of Westminster. Back on June thirteenth, won twenty five hundred dollars. That's five so they, bombs. They, yeah, yeah. So uh, actually, four plus the five hundred he got just for, oh, for right. getting there down in the game. Sorry, yes. But yeah, so if if they've got a uh, uh, if if they've got their home run hitting shoes on, some of these things are kind of nice. And you recognize, you know, these are these are tickets. There's there's, there's no extra uh, uh, purchase required. They've already bought the home run riches fast play ticket. Win or lose, they're in the drawing. And then to sit there and be watching the game and see as as uh, as Miss Anderson saw, uh, you know, rocket launch by by Mountcastle, and in that case, she won fifty thousand dollars. And remember, at the end of the season, we'll draw our second fifty thousand dollar home run riches winner. That'll be way at the end of the season. But between now and then, stay tuned, watch the games, enter your tickets to win, and uh, and have some fun because uh, it's going to be a fun summer here in uh, in Baltimore. I'm sorry they moved the fences back here now we have this home run contest, but we're still hitting a lot of home runs. Got to get Mount Castle back into the lineup. Um, you got any Guardian staying, or are you just you're staying out of that right now? You know what? And and you will you will mock me as you always do, Nestor. You will mock me, but the Guardians are crawling to to within a a, a hair of first place in the less than 500. Central Division of the American League, and you know what? Hey, I heard Jim Palmer them? say, "In the end, they're going to win the division," and I agree with Palmer on that. So I don't well, want to say yeah. that out loud to you to get your confidence level up, but we may be seeing a Baltimore, Cleveland, Roberto Alomar old school thing. From oh the old days. wow, wouldn't that be something for for fans in in both markets? Because you know what? The last time that got together, that didn't go so well for your guys. I remember Tony Fernandez. I took a picture with him one day. Armando yeah. Benitez, see. God, yeah, 26 yeah. years later, and you can it still can anger the blood. It really can. John oh, Martin is here. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, yeah. I, 
I could say John Elway to you, but I'm not going to do that to you. I'm going to be nice to you. John Martin and, is here. And back at you. What are you talking about? <laughs> El- Elway did us both dirty. <laughs> he did. Yeah, he did. No, no doubt about that. Um, Festivals, any place you're going to be anytime soon. I mean, I talked about peach cake, and you – you also didn't understand yellow watermelon, gold watermelon. Um, I, I want to uh, really pay tribute to the ladies in the press box at the Ravens stadium because every year the lousy preseason games that nobody, J.K. Dobbins doesn't want to play in anymore, that nobody wants to play in, the preseason football games at Ravens games, I would go there in my shorts, whatever, it's preseason football, but they would always have this gold thing on the buffet, the media buffet. And, John, I thought it was pineapple. I mean, it looks like pineapple. It's the same color as pineapple. And I looked at it and had a rind. And I was, I'm 55 now. I guess I was 45 when I saw this for the first time in my life, 10 years ago. And I ate it and I said, that's the greatest thing I've ever had. It tastes like a watermelon, only sweeter, but it is a watermelon. And then I I Googled it and then my wife found one on the Eastern shore. Then I did some research and now it's a summer thing for me, like white corn, like fresh tomatoes, like Oriole baseball, like fireworks on the 4th of July, like the Heritage Fair in Dundalk. Um, so the gold watermelon thing, and you're not the only one. Dennis Colazzo's for a year and a half said he'd never had one. And on the Crab Cake Tour two years ago, I think I saw you down in Ocean City that year at Mako, I brought him back a giant. There's a man that sells him on 50 and Easton. He, he beats on it. He knows how to make it sound. So anytime I go down in July and August, I come back with several and I give them to friends. Wise Markets also sells them on occasion and they have them at farmer's markets. But ask for gold watermelon. It's a gift to you. Do you love watermelon? Absolutely. Who does? And you're going to love gold watermelon. It's, so you're it's telling sweeter. Me it's, it's a sweet dessert and a musical instrument? I eat it. And Dennis oh. makes fun of me because I like ice cream. Yes. I eat it with a scooper, with an ice cream scooper. Like I'll oh. scoop it out in scoops and put it into a bowl. So it looks like ice cream and then I'll pick at it. So it comes in little circles, like, like scoops of ice cream. Yeah. Yeah. And and it, it makes for a neater uh, presentation in, in the water because watermelon's too big to eat. You know, they're, they're big. So I cut it in half and then I scoop it out. And I, my wife got so serious about this that she went online and got one of the fancy schmancy plastic things that sit over uh, the watermelon hood to keep she, it she can do that because she's buying those mega millions and powerball tickets she she can buy those fancy schmancy she knows things. where to get good gold watermelon at wise marks all right john i've helped you with peach cake i've helped you with gold watermelon uh you can help me with cleveland mustard or something next time we get together all right help me understand. nice good is there any Excellent. is there any food that i need to know about summertime i'm an eater john Oh boy, we'll have to save that for our next our next get together, which will probably be in a couple of weeks. But I'll, I'll work that out with you. We'll get Seth involved. We'll get somebody in the in the lineup here next week. Because I talk bad about the Guardians and the Browns, he doesn't want to come back now. John Martin is here. He is there. If you win a lot of money, you get to meet him. Otherwise, he just visits with us every once in a while here on the radio. Uh, they're giving big prizes away and uh, huge jackpots right now. Get out and play, and please play responsibly. And we didn't even talk any sports wager. We'll do that next time. How about that? Absolutely. There's plenty to talk about next time. All right, uh, Spirits West, I'll be giving these away. These are the original scratch-offs, the 50th anniversary. This has been a really lucky batch. I've had a lot of winners in this batch. We'll be at Spirits West this week. Our guest, Chad Weasling, NFL agent to Josh Jacobs. We're going to talk about running back money and J.K. Dobbins. We're doing a lot of that. Chris Pike is going to come out, and I have a feeling he'll be wearing the Mount St. Joe regalia out on Wilkins Avenue. Uh, Rick Kehoe is going to join us. We're going to talk crab cakes. I'm probably going to have a beer because it's summertime, and if they have any gold watermelon, I'll eat them out of house and home over there at Spirits West. Uh, it's also brought to you by our friends at Window Nation, 866-90-NATION. You buy two, you get two free, and you got two years of 0% financing. And I want to thank Leonard Raskin for giving me this uh, this this crab uh, a beer with the special beer opener on the side. I will be employing this at Costas for our 25th anniversary on August the 3rd. I am Nestor. We are WNSD, AM 1570, Towson, Baltimore, and we never stop talking Baltimore positive. <laughs>